Hello and welcome. My name is Professor Jordan and I am a massive hipster? Wait, who wrote that? So this next episode set is something I've wanted to address for a long time and was actually one of the original why questions that spawned this whole whys of history show thing. It's a question that really hits at the heart of how we understand history and how we make it relevant to our lives, as well as one that is notably closer to the present day than our last few episodes. The question is why the Allied powers ended up victorious in World War II. And here to drop some super serious knowledge bombs on this topic, no, we turn to- Jordan, No, I, I don't want to do this super serious stuff. Uh, uh, okay, Sam, then how about... Um, busting some misconceptions, like the whole Russian soldiers only got a pack of ammo no, thing. No, I really want to do this historical anecdote thing I've got going on. Uh, Sam, we talked about this. You get like two minutes per show. You need to talk about something grandiose and exciting with tons of historical depth that will blow our viewers' collective minds. You left me outside for a week. You owe me this one. Well, I... I guess can't argue with that. Uh, uh, all right. And now we turn to our store respondent, clearly not listening to me, Sam. Thanks, Jordan. Thanks for letting me have my dreams. They're all I have left anymore. Ah, uh, the American traffic system. With many signs and symbols like these, not only do these signs dictate how we move through our daily lives, but they also tell us stories. If only we just take the time to listen. This stop sign, for example, beneath its shiny red exterior, it tells us to halt, cease action, just stop. Signs of the World War II era also told us stories. Today, let's examine a fellow who came to symbolize the American serviceman overseas, a one Kilroy Wazir, was here. But who was Kilroy, and where did he come from? It's still up for debate, but the most commonly accepted story is that, like Allied victory in Europe, he is the result of cooperation between Allied nations. In the United States, dock workers would put a chalk line over their section of rivets they had done for the day. To ensure they were only paid for the work they had done that day, a manager would walk by and sign, Kilroy was here above the chalk line. As Americans traveled overseas towards Europe, they saw the chalk lines and the signatures of Kilroy all over their ships. When they reached England, they combined those same chalk outlines and signatures with a small British cartoon character of a big-nosed guy peeping over a wall. American GIs began stenciling him everywhere as they fought all across Europe. Soon, Kilroy took on another role, that of scaring Germans. Germans would find the Kilroy symbol everywhere, including behind their own front lines, leading them to believe that Kilroy was some kind of super spy. In reality, American GIs had simply retreated from that area, leaving a trail of Kilroys behind them. Kilroy proved to be so prolific, he's even hidden in two locations in the World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C. So the next time you're out and about, stop. Look around. Kilroy may have beaten you there. Thanks, Sam, but what's that on your face what's what's what on my face uh never mind thank you very much for watching you can click over here to see part one and part two of professor jordan's wise of history episode four why did the allies win in world war ii thank you very much for watching and i will see you all next class Um, busting some misconceptions, like the whole Russian soldiers only got packs of ammo uh, thing. Uh, I really want to do this historical anecdote thing I got here. <sighs> Sam, we talked about this. You get like a whole two minutes per show, and you need to talk about something with historical, like grandiose, and is exciting with gravitas and tons of historical depth that will blow our viewers' collective minds. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just have to. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs>
I saw it coming too. I saw it coming. Oh god. I made sure to look right in your eyes when I did it. Oh okay, god. Let's start a new day.